Today's how to build is on Maleficent. If you like this video, here are some other how to build videos you might enjoy. So nobody specifically requested Maleficent, but because she's got a new movie out and because she's one of my favorite villains of all time, I thought I would honor her by doing a how to build video. I focused on doing the classic Disney interpretation of Maleficent from uh, the animated movie Sleeping Beauty. Uh, so she's got green skin and these sort of purple accents to her drape. They used a slightly different look in the live action movie. It's, it's a really big build. It's sort of action figure sized. Uh, that was basically the only size I could get all the details I wanted in. Her head in particular, it's hard to build in minifig scale. Um, so yeah, let's jump into building Lego Maleficent. These are the pieces you'll need for the top half of Maleficent's head. Start off with a 2x3 plate in black. We're going to put some 1x1 round plates on the back. Do a uh, black cheese slope in front of that, each one. Then we're going to do a 1x2 tile across that. On the top, we're going to build up uh, some black cone pieces, and then stick uh, black horn tooth pieces into the top. Make sure they sort of point out to get that uh, Maleficent curved horn look. Below that, we're going to do a 1x3 plate and a 1x2 plate coming forward. Then we're going to take some 1x1 bricks with a stud on one side. Stick one of those on each side. Fill out the back with uh, two 1x2 round plates on top of one another. Uh, coming back this direction, we're going to do a uh, another 1x1 one one brick with stud coming off one side. And on the back, we're going to do a 1x1 one one round plate, or square plate if you've got it. Uh, and then a cheese slope. Sort of make that slope there. Uh, on the front, we're going to start building her face. So I used lime as the color for face, lime green. So a jumper plate and that. Then we're going to do a uh, purple one by one round plate, two of those. That's sort of for the coloring above her eyes. Then yellow one by one round plates for her eyes. Connect it all with a one by two plate in lime. Then over here on the side, we're going to do one by one uh, plate with tooth in black. Stick that on the side and twist it back so it's sort of part of the curve of the side there. Um, up here we're going to do a black cheese slope to fill out that spot. Don't forget that. Uh, here we're going to stick a Technic half pin in there and we're going to fill these out with some uh, one by one round plates. So that is the top of Maleficent's head. These are the pieces you'll need for the bottom half of Maleficent's head. Start out again with a 2x3 plate in black. On top of that we're going to take a 1x2 lime plate, push it forward, then flip this upside down, do a 1x1 round plate in red, and then a lime jumper plate on top of that. Now behind this, we're going to do a black jumper plate and then a 1x2 plate in black. Down here, we're going to do two black cheese slopes pointing down. And uh, on the front here, we're going to do a lime cheese slope pointing forward to be her chin. Um, on the back, we're going to take a headlight brick Stick it like so, and then take some of these um, one by one plate with a uh, tooth on the side. So we'll put one on the inside like that, and one on the outside, which you can point diagonally. Do the same thing on the other side. One tooth on the inside, 
and one tooth on the outside pointing diagonally. So that should look like that for her sort of cape parts. Um, then down here, this is um, this Technic pin-to-pin uh, -pin connector. Stick that on the bottom here. Take a purple corner slope, 2x2. Two two. Those each side. Then just a regular 1x2 downward slope in purple. Uh, Going to put a purple cheese slope here. And then do some more downward slopes in purple. And finish those off with some cheese slopes the very bottom of that. So this is what your uh, bottom of her head should look like. So now you're going to connect the top and bottom of her head. So the blue Technic pin is going to fit into the middle of that black 1x2 plate. One thing that you'll notice is that uh, because that introduces a little bit of space, there's going to be some spacing between the middle of her face hair. So I suggest pushing the jumper plate slightly off of the black plate on top of it so that you move that space to the top of her head between those two pieces rather than the middle of her head. Still going to sometimes have a shift in the middle of her face there, but um, it's a small price to pay for getting this really cool um, shape of her face. This is her head. Now let's move on to her body. These are the pieces you'll need for Maleficent's torso. So start with a 1x3 and a 1x2 brick in black. In front of those we're going to do two 2x2 two two bricks in black and a purple 1x2 brick right in the middle there. Connect all of that with a 2x3 brick. Then do some corner bricks here and a 1x1 in purple and two one by ones in black. On top of this we're going to use this giant slope. It's a two by two by three downward slope in black. One of those, another one of those, and then a one by two by three downward slope. On the front you're going to build up three purple one by one bricks. Stick that in the middle and then three one by two bricks in black on each side. In the center, we're going to do another purple 1x1 one one and a black 1x1. One one. Then on the side, we're going to do a 2x2 two two plate in black on each side. Then uh, some corner plates in black. Two levels up. In this little slot here, we're going to put a black cheese slope. On top of that, we're going to take a 1x2 plate with a handle on the side, put one of those on each side, take some black cheese slopes, make some nice shoulders there. Going to connect all of this with some uh, black plate. I'm using a corner plate, a 1x1 plate. You could also use a 1x3 and a 1x1. And then on the very back, we're going to do a cheese slope right there. I'm going to take the head, connect that whole thing to that front piece. So this one connection right here is holding her head onto her neck. So this is what you should have so far. These are the pieces you'll need for the next section of Maleficent's torso. So start with a 1x4 and a 1x1 one one in magenta. Then some 1x2s in black and a 1x1 one one in purple. Connect the purple to the magenta with a 1x2 in purple. Then use some corner bricks in black. Connect those. And use some magenta 1x1s one to connect that. Do a 1x3 in black across the top. Some corner bricks in black. And then a 1x1 one one purple back here. Then you're going to um, use a lot of jumper plates on the bottom here. So a jumper plate in purple, some black jumper plates, 
Uh, I don't have magenta per jumper plates, so I'm using red. I don't know that they exist in magenta, so I'm going to just hope that nobody notices those are red. Uh, this middle one doesn't matter, so I'm using green. Uh, now, these are going to connect on the back when we have something to connect them to. Uh, so again, these are 2x2x3 two by two by downward slopes and a 1x2x3 by by downward slope. Those will connect in the back, but let's do jumper plates on them. So black, black, in the middle here, black and green, and then black and black over here. Uh, now we can connect all of this together to uh, the bottom of the other part of Maleficent we've already built. These are the pieces you'll need for the front half of the bottom of Maleficent's dress. Start off with a 1x8 brick in black. Center a 1x4 brick in front of that. Connect them with two 2x3 two bricks facing backwards. Off to one side, we're going to do a 2x2 two two downward slope each side. Looking forward, we're going to take a 1x2x2 two 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 downward slope in magenta. Then we're going to do a 2x2 two two corner downward slope in black. A 1x2 downward slope in black. Connect those with a 1x2 brick. Do the same thing on the opposite side. In the front, we're going to take two purple 1x2x2 one by two by two downward slopes. So we've got a lot of things hanging out unconnected right now. Let's connect some of those. So those purple ones, we're going to do 1x2 one brick and a 1x2 brick. The black ones, we're going to do corner bricks. The magenta, going to build up one higher with some 1x1 one one bricks. Around to the back. Going to connect this part with a 1x6 brick. Here we're going to take some 2x2x2 two by two by two downward slopes, three of those. Build across the back. Leave all that empty for right now. Build another 1x6 brick here. Some more magenta bricks. Here do two more corner bricks. Then fill in the middle with a 1x2 brick. I'm using black, but any color will do because it'll be hidden. And then one by two purple. So these magenta bricks are really just hanging out on the sides here. Connect the uh, upper part of Maleficent in. And this is what we've got. These are the pieces you'll need for the train of Maleficent Stress. Start out with a 2x6 brick and a 1x2 brick. Connect all of those with a 2x4 downward slope. A little bit rarer than some other slopes. Then do another 2x4 off the back here. Then off this side we'll do a 1x2 downward slope with a 1x3 downward slope. Same thing on the other side. 1x2 and a 1x3. Then off the sides here, we'll do a 2x3 downward slope, 2x3 downward slope, followed by a 2x4 downward slope, like so. That gets the nice flowing parts of the back of her dress along the floor there. On the side here, we'll do 2x3 downward slope in this direction. So you could also call this a 3x2 downward slope. Differentiate it. And on the edges here, we'll do some cheese slopes pointing in. And then we can connect all of this to the rest of Maleficent. Nice flowing dress at the bottom there. For those of you who follow my Facebook page, you might recognize this as the photo I teased out about a week ago. These are the pieces you'll need for Maleficent's arms. So I'm going to build out both arms simultaneously. First thing to do is get some of these hinge plates in black, two of those. Then some uh, one by two plates with clips. Stick those on the inside parts. 
Then a uh, one by four tile. Then some more one by two plates with clips. Then the last piece you're gonna use is a uh, one by two plate with a clip on the side. That'll be the inside part of the arms. For the outside part, I'm gonna be very similar. I'm gonna do one by one plate. I'm using circle ones because I ran out of the other size. Then a uh, one by two plate with handle. Same thing on the other side, plate, one by two with handle. Then we're gonna cover that up with a one by four tile. One by four tile. Then we're gonna do a one by one plate on the bottom and connect it all together a little sturdier with a one by three plate. Same thing over here. On the side here, we're gonna build her some hands. So a uh, lime brick with a stud on one side. Do that on both sides. Take one by two plate, put two cheese slopes on it. Little hand piece there. Like so. Like so. Let's connect these arms to our body. So connect them like so. Now if you're familiar with Maleficent, you'll notice there's something missing, which is the flowy drapiness that uh, would be flowing under from her arms. So you can position these arms as you like for now. So what's nice about the way I built the hinges on these arms is that you can move them down and then move them forward for her to have her arms facing forward as well as her arms being up like this. The two positions that uh, I thought were important for her. These are the pieces you'll need for the flowy part of Maleficent's arms. Start with a 1x10, 1x8, 1x6, 1x8, and 1x6 plates in black. Stick them all together like that. And then do a mirror image of that on the other side. To connect this, we're going to take a 2x4 plate, stick it there. Connect everything but that 1x6 on the end. And we'll do a corner plate and a 1x3 to connect all of that. And do the same thing on the mirror image side. 2x4 corner plate and a 1x3 plate. Put a 1x2 plate and then a corner plate and a 1x3 plate. Again, same thing on the other side. Corner plate, 1x3 plate, 1x2 plate. Then take a whole lot of purple tiles. Purple 1x2 tiles, that is. I got a lot of these at Pick a Brick, which is how I'm able to do all this detailing here. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the mirror image side. Except, you know, the mirror side of it, the mirror of it, mirror, mirror on the wall, that's a different Disney movie. So, got all our purple there. Well, let's just flip this around here for easy looking. We're going to do a whole bunch of these one by one plates with clip and stick them on those four spots and those four spots. So that'll look like this. Clip, 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 clip. To connect those, take it here, clip it onto the clips in the back, bend it down, make sure it fits right on top of that outcropping at the bottom of her dress. Bend it down, turn it back forward, start with a 1x4, 1x6, 1x4, 1x3 plate. Push them all together, do the mirror on the other side. To connect all of those, I'm going to do a corner plate here and a 1x3 plate going that way. I'm going to do the mirror on the mirror side 
And we've got those 1x3 plates sort of hanging out in the breeze there. So we're going to connect those using 1x2 plate with two clips. Even if you only have a couple of those, that'll be fine. Uh, and then fill in the top with just 1x1 one one plates with clips. Or if you've got it, you could use a 1x2 plate with clips again. And then we're just going to do uh, purple 1x2 tiles down, hanging off again. So like that, and like that, to connect these babies, hold it where you want it, flip it around, uh, clip it in there, twist that back, same thing on the other side. Now she's got an awesome sort of wingspan of her dress. So those drapey pieces look great when she's got both of her arms up, but if you want to make one of her arms go down, what you're going to do is you're going to take off both of the drapey bits, and then you're going to bend her arm in and fold her arm down, and you're going to take the small drapey bit and uh, reconnect that here so it's coming off her hand, and you might want to twist her hand so it's down now. So this is what she looks like with both of her arms in the down position. These are the pieces you'll need for Maleficent Scepter. So start out with a one by one plate with a round clip on it. On the bottom of that, you're going to put a one by one round plate in yellow. Then one of these long yellow antennae. Uh, on the top, you're going to put a one by one round brick. A uh, couple more one by one round bricks. Uh, another one by one round brick. Oh, I'm sorry, forgot to put a cone piece down here. Cone piece down there. Uh, so then you're going to take a cone piece and a lightsaber length um, rod in yellow. Stick that in there and then down that way. And then up here you're going to put a uh, transparent yellow uh, minifigure head. It's used as a lamp bulb a lot of times. So when her hands are in the down position, you can unclip that. Clip this in like here. And then uh, if you want to have it fit a little bit better, use a one by one lime plate. Let her hand sort of wrap around it. Uh, yeah, you have a little yellow showing through her hand, but you can just pretend that's a bracelet if you want. So that's what Maleficent looks like holding her scepter from this direction. So when her arms are in this position, I'm going to take the hand off that way, put the scepter on this way, and put the hand back how you want it. I, I like it a little up rather than all the way down in the graspy position. Here's a zoomed out view of what she looks like holding the scepter. I think she looks pretty awesome and evil and stylish, just as Maleficent should. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's other Disney villains or Disney characters you'd like to see me build. Um, and uh, keep on building. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments telling me what you want to see me build in the future. If you like this video, here are some other how to build videos you might enjoy. These are the pieces you'll need for the front half of Maleficent's Maleficent's dress. Uh, do a one by three in black. Nope. Yes. Do a one by three in black across the top, and um, blah 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 blah. So that's the first half of the drapey part added on. 
Oh, there goes.